Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue to celebrate with great joy the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And through this Eucharist, Jesus shares with us the victory, the light, and the joy of his resurrection. Let us make ourselves worthy of this new life that Jesus offers to us. Let us call to mind our sins and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed by perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us to have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb 
and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and they reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the 1980s, there was a popular song entitled Total Eclipse of the Heart. Hindi ko po alam kung alam ninyo yung kantang yun, kung inabutan nyo yung kantang yun. But many people, including myself, thought that the title of the song is Turn Around. Because the words turn around were repeated several times in that song. Akala natin yun na yung title, Turn Around. I was reminded of this song as I was reading the Word of God for today. Our readings today are all about turning around. In our Gospel today, Mary Magdalene was weeping as she looked at the empty tomb of Jesus. But when she turned around, when she took away her eyes from the tomb, she saw Jesus. All the while she was weeping, Jesus was already there. But she did not see Jesus because she was facing the wrong direction. She was so focused, she was so fixed on the tomb that she did not notice that Jesus was already there. All she needed to do was to turn around. And when she turned around, she saw Jesus. At first, she, th she thought Jesus was a gardener. And later on, when Jesus called her by name, Mary Magdalene realized it was the Lord. When she was looking at the empty tomb, she was filled with grief and sorrow. But when she turned around, when she saw Jesus, her grief was turned to joy. All she needed to do was to turn around. In our first reading today, we heard the preaching of St. Peter to the Jews about Jesus. And Peter's preaching about Jesus was so powerful 
that according to our first reading today, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter, what are we to do? Now that they believed in Jesus, now that they have seen Jesus, what are we to do? And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized. And according to our first reading, about 3,000 persons were added that day. 3,000 persons who turned around and started believing and following Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the resurrection of Jesus invites us to turn around. Do not focus on the tomb. Turn around and see the risen Lord. Do not focus on the darkness. Turn around and see the light of Jesus. Do not focus on sorrow, on suffering, on pain. Turn around and experience the glory of the resurrection. Many times in our life, all we need to do is just to turn around. Maybe we are focused on the wrong direction. We are looking at the wrong direction. That is why we could not see Jesus. Baka masyado ang tuon natin sa problema. Kailangan lamang natin umikot para makita ang solusyon. Baka masyado tayong nakatuon sa kahirapan, sa bigat ng buhay, sa problema, sa mga pasanin, sa karamdaman, sa pandemic. Baka dapat tayong umikot, turn around, at makikita natin ang pag-asa at liwanag. Baka nasa maling direksyon lamang tayo. Umikot, turn around, and see Jesus who is always there to give us hope, to give us joy, to give us new life. And so let us have the courage to turn around. Kasi minsan nasasanay na tayo na nakatingin lamang tayo doon sa libingan, sa kadiliman. At sanay na sanay tayong tumingin doon sa madilim, sa mahirap, sa problema, sa bigat ng buhay, na ayaw na nating alisin ang tingin natin dyan. Dyan na lamang tayo palagi nakatingin, nakafocus. Kinasanayan na natin yan. Ayaw na nating tumingin sa iba pang direksyon. And so it takes a lot of courage to turn around. And when we do so, we will be surprised that Jesus has always been there. Let us have the courage to turn around so that we will see Jesus and we will hear His sweet voice calling us by name. Let us have the courage to turn around so that we may also share in the glory in the joy and in the light of the resurrection. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through Him, let us pray with confidence to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here may remain faithful to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be freed from their bodily and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. O God, through the death of your Son, you gave us the hope of eternal life. Grant that through his resurrection, we may obtain the life we long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Regina Celi, lei tare, alleluia, qui acque meruisti portare, alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, alleluia. 